So if for some reason you cannot boot into Android, maybe your Galaxy S7 is stuck in a boot loop, or maybe it freezes when you're in the process of trying to reboot, you'll need to do what is called a hard factory reset. To do this, you need to boot your Galaxy S7 into recovery mode. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, look at the top right in the suggested cards list, and I will link you to a tutorial for how to boot the Galaxy S7 into recovery mode. Once you are in recovery mode, you want to press the volume down button until the wipe data factory reset option is enabled or is highlighted. Once that option is highlighted, go ahead and press the power button. And then you'll be asked if you are sure if you want to do the factory reset. The default option highlighted is no, but if you are sure you want to do the factory reset, you want to highlight the yes option and then press the power button again to select it. This will take you through the factory reset method. It can take two, three, four minutes. Once that process is done, your Galaxy S7 will reboot on its own and you'll boot right back into Android. This will be the regular Android activation screen that you're booted into and then you'll have to add your account, your Google account, add your Samsung account. Go ahead and download your applications that you use from the Google Play Store and then restore any data if you've done any manual backups.